Hey guys, it's Greeny. Today I'm gonna head up to Flint, Michigan to go check out the Michigan Air National Guard. Uh, it's not the jets, it's just gonna be some planes flying overhead, they're refueling planes. And two of these big planes are gonna fly over McLaren Hospital, um, just as a tribute to the healthcare workers in Michigan. And they're actually flying all kinds of different places. Um, the main part of their trip is they're gonna be up in mid-Michigan somewhere, and they're gonna refuel some jets in midair and that's that's a big highlight but the part i'm going to see is just the planes flying overhead as a tribute and then i'm going to just do a little tour of flint michigan i show you guys what's new there uh there's been a lot of new renovations uh, saginaw street which is the main thoroughfare downtown um has a lot of artwork on buildings there uh, a lot of local artists have done murals on these buildings and it's pretty cool so i'll just show you guys that uh flint is uh widely known for the water crisis but I'm not going to touch on that at all in the video. I'm just going to show what's new there. And, uh, you know, maybe some people are from Flint originally and want to see how it looks now. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Oh, if you like the video, uh, at the end of the video right down here will be my face. Go ahead and click on that and it'll take you to my main page. And you can uh, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'd appreciate it. Thank you. So I came down here to downtown Flint just to show you guys around a little bit. And I'm sorry, for some reason, the stabilization on my uh, camera didn't work well. But anyways, on the right side here is Halo Burger. That's a Flint original. Um, those used to be uh, really good burgers. I don't know. They're still okay. We got these different churches up here, and if you can see the architecture, um, I don't know what style it is, if that's gothic right there or what, but um, I really like these churches here. Um, I'm actually, as I'm walking around, I'm also taking some pictures from my Instagram. Um, I take a lot of pictures of old churches like this, uh, but uh, you can see this is just, you know, older buildings here downtown, but uh, Quite a few of them have been renovated, and uh, the murals on some of these are just really cool. So I'll just shut up now and uh, let you guys check some of the stuff out. This building here uh, has just been recently renovated. Uh, within about the last year, year and a half, and it's uh, Mott Community College's Culinary Arts Institute. So the kids come down here to downtown Flint to work on their cooking skills, and there's a little restaurant that the public can go in in there, and uh, it's really cool. The students also work at the little coffee shop right here, too, that's in the inside. That's been open for probably about two years. Um, so it's, it's a great, uh, great way for the students to get hands-on experience Anyways, this right here is The Loft, and a girl named Crystal, Crystal Cooks, she's on Instagram. She does a lot of the artwork downtown. She did this mural. I actually uh, watched her when she was painting it. Um, the place is closed now, obviously, um, but uh, I really like that. Uh, I posted that picture on my Instagram, and uh, 
got a ton of likes on that. Uh, people really either loved or hated Anthony Bourdain, I guess. Just some older, older cool buildings down here. Across the way is Hoffman's Deli, and uh, as you can see, some more another co cool mural just above the business. Uh, Hoffman's used to be out of downtown; they had a really cool building, and uh, they moved down here. But um, yeah, so I like that artwork on there, the different vegetables and whatnot. I'm gonna take you guys over now, and uh, we're gonna walk up to the uh, Flint Farmers Market, which. On a day like today, it would just be bustling. Uh, today is a Tuesday, and uh, the farmer's market is, was open Tuesday, Thursdays, and uh, Saturdays. And it's, uh, it's one of the more popular places in Flint, especially at lunchtime. There's all kinds of little food booths, and um, just is packed all the time, and outside just selling fresh produce and everything. Uh, so that's it right here. As you can see, just, just vacant, desolate ghost town here nothing going on but a few kids skateboarding in the parking lot here Here on the left is the uh, bus terminal, Lighted bus terminal. Uh, there's some restaurants, different things in there, Happy's Pizza they put in there. I think it's a newer building. It's uh, pretty nice in there. And this right here, the Capitol Theater, this was just totally re-renovated. It's beautiful in there, and unfortunately it's closed now due to the uh, current situation. But uh, if anybody is from Flint or was here years ago, I mean, that was just for, vacant for so long and just run down, and now it's just beautiful. So at some point, I'd like to go check out a show in there when I'm in town. Blackstones is a pretty popular bar and eatery in downtown Flint. Um, you can see the front part a little bit um, earlier in the video, but uh, I just noticed this other mural in the back. Check this out. I don't know who that is. I, mean, I should know, but uh, I don't know the story. Pretty cool though.
this here on the left is the uh, county courthouse. And up there is the jail. And check this out. As we drive by, you can hear people screaming. Listen to this. Yeah, I wonder if there's a riot. I hear people screaming. Pizza from Sicily's, that's where we wanted to get some food from. I guess we're gonna have to go to Plan B, Chinese food. Went native Terry Cruz, they put a big mural up on the side of this building for him. Wonder if he's from this neighborhood, Saginaw and Lakeview. They're in the market for a boat, they got him here too. Well, since no pizza, we're gonna have to settle for Cantonese gourmet. So it's number one Chinese food. Get some General's chicken. General's chicken. Oh, that looks pretty good. So that's from the Cantonese Gourmet in Flint.